don't need compassion. And please don't tell me that he has mental illness or whatever. Just one day after her son was killed by a suspected drunk driver, this mother is coming to terms with the fact that her son will never walk through her front door again. And the victim was working on sprinklers along the 15 in Escondido. 10 News anchor Itika Milanis just spoke with the victim's mother. And Itika, she had a very unusual reaction to her son's death. It was. You know, this was one of the most gut-wrenching interviews that I have ever done. This mother was in so much shock about her son's sudden death, she couldn't cry at first. And now, as you see her crying, the unthinkable reality is sinking in. But it was around 5.30. Sylvia Pena says her son's fiancé, her family, and a pastor showed up at her home, and Pena just knew. I knew that Leo was dead. Her son, Leo Sandoval, had recently been promoted to foreman at a landscaping company and was working on sprinklers along the I-15 in Escondido. The CHP says Reginald Grigsby was heading southbound when he lost control, slammed into Sandoval, killing him instantly. <laughs> the tears are flowing now, but Pena says she felt numb physically and emotionally after hearing her son was dead. She didn't cry for hours. She paced in denial until loved ones took control. My friends took me to the hospital. They, they, they said, you need to go because I couldn't drive. I, couldn't, I, was, I wasn't crying. I was just like, like a robot. Pena says her son lived and breathed for his fiance, Marissa, and his son, Vincent. He was the kind of guy that he was sitting every night, child playing the guitar to his child. The best daddy. On Saturday, the family celebrated little Vincent's first birthday. Pena aches for her grandson, who will never know his father. As for the driver accused of killing her son, I want him in jail forever. Reginald Grigsby has been in trouble before. In 2009, he was sentenced to one year in jail after attacking his mother. His own father, a retired police captain, had to shoot him to stop the attack. I don't need compassion. And please don't tell me that he has mental illness or whatever. Well, the CHP told me Grigsby tested positive for drugs, not alcohol, but the blood test will take a while to reveal exactly what drugs he was on. The 31-year-old will be arraigned tomorrow at 1.30 at Vista Court. He is charged with felony DUI and vehicular manslaughter. The sympathy for that mother is just overwhelming to hear her story and to see that pain. It really is. It, you can't help but feel it yourself. Yeah, absolutely. I know she will be in many people's thoughts and prayers. She will. Thanks, yeah. Itika.